What's up y'all, this is John Egger. Before we get in today's episode, I'd like to announce that the show is a proud partner of Ryan Cutter on Twitch. Make sure you give him a follow, I will leave a link to his page down in the description. Make sure you check him out, he's always playing tons of different games, shooter games, uh, you know, RPGs, different types of things, and he's always keeping it interesting and fun and mixing it up. So make sure you go follow him, that is CutGuy06 on Twitch. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are. What's up, big man? How's it going, man? Oh, it's great. Welcome <laughs> you know to <laughs> to episode ninety two of Eggcast with John Egger. I'm sitting here with my man, the one, the only Alex Secchia from Prime Media. Um, I just want to say, first of all, tell people where they can find your stuff. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Anything you got, you got to promote. You know, let it out, let it loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. find me on Instagram, Alex underscore Secchia, and Prime Media, P R One M E Media, where people recognize one man entertainment. On Instagram oh, and YouTube, shit. when we get uh, when I get my trademark right, we're gonna change the name a little bit. That's in due time, but for right now, it's where you can find us. And then once the name goes underway, we're gonna be on Spotify and everywhere you can go. Podbean's gonna be my hosting site. Yeah, we just got done covering nice. Super Bowl Fifty. Oh, shit, what Super Bowl was it? Oh, I'm too hungover. <laughs> That's all over me talking. <laughs> Damn. Um, Fifty-two. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Yeah, Damn, 55. it's already been 50, it's 55. 55. Yeah, so I'm that off. We just bro. covered it, the uh, Chiefs and Buccaneers. We got the interview with Mike Evans, so we'd we be sure to go check it out. And now we're here on the Eggcast, baby. Hell yeah. Eggcast. Hell yeah. You, you heard it here first, folks. Fucking, um, yo. So tell people a little bit about what you do because you, you, like, you remind me of, like, an up and coming like um how do i put this like like an adam 22 or somebody you know what i mean oh, like you 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 um you seem to uh i guess like we like we we all kind of do but like you you seem to find like a lot of interesting people from very different like areas yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what i mean and the fact that you're like uh working where you're you're interviewing and talking to like NFL players and mm-hmm. like um coaches and different people is so awesome but then to see you like like um uh, like you, like you could like rap rap uh football with like with a player or like a coach or something but then or or like ask them questions and then to watch you uh turn and go to like say like a podcast with like a with like a um with a, a musician or a, a, a rapper or an artist like some whoever you're talking to like it's it's crazy to see you go from like one uh one facet to the next yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying like you're very you're very versatile with, with Thank what, you, I appreciate you, what you do and like i i was just i was just wondering like how would you describe like what exactly it is that like you're trying to create yeah well i feel like everyone has a story i feel like everyone is good at something but a lot of people are scared to come out about it because it might be not me deemed as cool. Um, they might get made fun of. People might not support it. They're not confident in it, right? So, because I was that kid growing up. At one point, I feel like everyone's like that, but I didn't have confidence through high school and stuff, you know? Yeah, it's And tough. I had things I wanted to I do. I could relate to that. Exactly. I feel, I, I feel like, I mean, <clears throat> it's just an ongoing struggle, too. It's a know? struggle, exactly. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Like, people are out here doing something, but mm-hmm. there's also people out here that are trying to platform their thing i obviously can never stop talking hmm. i've been told several times my grandfather was the one who inspired me to really be, uh, do a podcast and stuff i was like why not make a podcast where i can like help motivate that in people right platform someone's story so the, the motto is while you figure out your prime startup listen to how they got theirs so i'll bring a person on who is not huge didn't make it yet but they're doing their due diligence. Well. Yeah. They're we're putting the work in. They're grinding. They're gaining some success at their level that they're at now. Mm. Show you that if you're a musician, if you're an artist, if you're an athlete, if you're struggling, but if you're in this area, because Jersey's really, you know, I feel like Jersey's not really on the map, essentially. Mm-hmm. You know, we're surrounded by Philly. Not yet. We're, yeah, exactly. Not yet. We're surrounded by Philly and, like, New York, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like... You guys aren't alone. If you guys really have like a talent, you want to come, like hit me up. Like I'm no, I'll never turn anybody down, you know. And it costs nothing to come on and talk to me or platform your stuff, and we can shoot. This, we can like talk about it, 
promote your thing. And I was like, why would I? I'm good at sports. That's my field. But I was like, mm, I got to widen my audience too. Mm-hmm. Why not touch with everybody? Why not just do that for athletes? Do it for musicians. Do it for artists. For entrepreneurship. Yeah. Exactly. Because it's all, it's all about the same thing. Everyone's trying to grind, like you said earlier. We're all trying to grind and get somewhere. Yeah. So I was like, absolutely. why not? Yeah. And um, I think the way that uh, that I see you connect with people is like very genuine you know mm. i feel like you can almost tell sometimes when you when you watch something or you like you look at something like they're not like and like anybody in the creative creative uh, space knows like they're not all going to be perfect you know what i mean like yeah. not every interview is going to be a 10 and sometimes there's just going to be things that like yep. don't that work out or don't work out you know like yep. <laughs> <laughs> like but but when people can see that you're coming at them in a genuine way where mm-hmm. you're like you're not just trying to create this like this thing that you like you think they'll like or like create kind of like these or like like i see around like i i i just see so many things and i hate to like i at the end of the day i support all podcasters anybody yeah. who wants to yeah. do a podcast i i ship all fucking podcasters you know like more power to every podcaster in the world you know mm-hmm. but i feel like i keep seeing these things of like these these podcasts where they're doing all the things that that people should want you know or like or people find interesting but i just don't see like the the connect like the you know the the like the like the um the genuineness yeah yeah, you don't you know i I see exactly what you're saying like especially with like the especially in the motivational and like inspirational Mm. space where it's like people will be like the importance of like anything like like and it's like that's all great and stuff and like i'm i'm for i'm for those those types of like videos and podcasts and things to help people you right, know? right right but, yeah but i feel like there's a level ascended where people can uh really connect and and feel like feel like they've really been helped when when there's people that are genuine with them exactly you know what I'm saying? Yeah. because uh when you're online if you're not if, like 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 when you're if 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 you put a podcast out and somebody goes to watch it and they can tell that you're being real with them like ha- half the time the shit we see online is just all the like the best moments you know yeah, of, yeah. of a person's life Thanks, yeah. and everybody shows like how they're hustling like how hard they're grinding what they're doing in their off time like having fun like living these amazing like perfect lives you know mm-hmm. but like to show the stuff or talk about the stuff that's also that's the not good stuff you yeah, know yeah, like yeah. to talk about the bad that comes with the good mm-hmm. and be like transparent with uh an audience i think is like the most important thing mm-hmm. you know and i think that's something that you achieve with your audience because I appreciate it. thank you because really not even in any one or one specific word you say but just the way that you that you uh come at your interviews and your conversations yeah. with them you know I, I think you're very you're very um transparent and genuine when it comes yeah, to that yeah i appreciate that because i feel like there's nothing to hide at the end of the day you know because you can try and cover up what you think you're covering up but people are people are pretty observant you know mm-hmm. people know can pick put clues together put two and two together so i'm very quick to say like hey like I I love like people have reached out to me and asked to platform their music and stuff. I mm-hmm. first thought it was like mind blowing. I'm like I you I'm gonna have a big platform, mm-hmm. you know. I'll probably yeah. get you across the 20 people, man. Yeah, but I'm yeah. I would love to do it. I mean that's the purpose of the show, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. like, okay, it's starting to pick up. But the way I look at it is, I have nothing to hide, you know. I have what I bring to the table. If you want to use it, you can use it. But I'm not gonna try and overdo it. Like for example, I'm pretty sure I've told you this. I forget honestly, but like. <clears throat> like everyone's different like you're i think your sub's pretty dope compared to like someone else i have because such so it's more of a comfortable vibe you know mm-hmm. like you're probably like i'm pretty sure i told you this before you're probably that, way man. better working on the uh like a uh, technical side like behind the scenes side like than i am mm-hmm. like i know that's my lacking point but as but of right now man that's something you can learn dude. exactly I'm that's what i'm trying you, to like, teach myself as i go you know like it's mm-hmm. it, it's not it doesn't it's not one of those things that it's like oh like oh my god like like don't like don't think like oh my god i have to find a producer or oh my god i have to find like those things can all help as you like as you build up and stuff but like there's like um those types of things to like ascend 
what you're doing, like like say whether it's your podcast or your videos, to have like your creative space and studio, all those things can be learned, man. YouTube, just yeah, just, just look exactly. You, it you you can learn it, and honestly, it just takes a little bit of and a little bit of money, mm-hmm. you know, a little bit of investment. You don't have to spend though. You don't you don't have to go out and buy the the most amazing shit. I mean, if you have the money to do that then and you're willing to spend it then by all means like get the top of the line top of the line stuff but you can create something that's like almost identical in quality for for uh for a decent uh price you know yeah exactly that that's the other thing too that i love about um something creative like a podcast is once you figure out it can seem overwhelming when you first start but once you can once you figure out how to do it it's like pretty it's pretty much like you can do it from anywhere exactly yeah and anyone i mean nowadays you see little kids starting their little their own little shows on like zoom or on you know i mean it's like now now things are different like Mm -hmm. it's like a whole little space of media that's like that's gonna branch out you know just just from just just from uh from people coming together yeah that's that's the thing about it it's the most kind of raw unedited unfiltered version of people coming together sure some show some podcasts are more um they're more like processed than others you know they're more mm-hmm. produced and like more edited but generally like what you're gonna get is pretty much as like honest and truthful as, exactly. as you could get and sometimes you know? that's what people like that raw yeah uncut stuff you know yeah yeah and absolutely back and forth sh- shooting the shit type of vibe and just really like being able to tell like where people are at you know that's yeah, why yeah. recently i've been trying to do the the solo shows and like those ones are like honestly like sometimes when i first started doing them it made me feel like kind of crappy because i'm like oh like what the hell like i'm really not about to get a guest like i could still probably find a zoom guest or like whatever i'm like am i really just doing this uh by myself but then like i didn't realize like i i should have thought this is the best thing i could do right now to just build my chops up, you know, and yeah, just, yeah. like, and just, and just get better at big like, balls for that at, 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 at fucking at doing that. You yeah, know, yeah. It, it, it's tough. It, I did it when I first started a little bit, just, just out of, um, just out of habit because I was like, I have to do something, you know, to get, like, going. To get going, but I didn't do them for a while and I started doing them again. And, uh, it's weird. It's like, sometimes I won't know exactly what I'm going to talk about. I think I'm going to go in this one direction and since it's just me there and I'm just talking to the camera, it's almost, I almost think of it kind of like therapy. Like it brings stuff out of me that I'm like, shit, did I really want to tell yeah. all these people that? Yeah, right, but, right. You find happens. yourself trapped sometimes. Not trapped, but you get so much into a flow that whatever hits your mind and if it's, a, if it's relevant, it's just coming out. Mm-hmm. And I found myself saying stuff too, like where I'm just like, I'll mention a family member moment. Or I'll mention something. I'm like, oh, did I want to say that? Oh, it's out there. Who cares now? Yeah. It's too late. <laughs> it happened on my on my other. Um, I went on my buddy Bill's podcast, uh, Angry Algorithms. You guys can check them out anywhere you find podcasts. And uh, they brought. I, I forget what we were talking about. Like it was kind of like you know we like we went in talked a little bit, a little bit of a cold open, kind of like uh, kind of went went along with the show. And somehow, um, I don't know if I brought up like my mom or something or something. Went on, and, I, and I told them, I was like, oh, yeah, my mom was a uh, bodybuilder. And that's something I don't tell a lot of people. Like growing up, my mom was a, a professional bodybuilder. And they were like, no shit, get out of here. And I was like, yeah, one time she she threw a gumball machine at me. Like, <laughs> and, and it's like something that like I fucking like never like to tell people because like i know my mom probably be like what the fuck why are you telling that story but it's like it's just shit just ha- you gotta you, like you gotta yeah, podcasts make you uh, transparent you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying oh it does yeah to, it does that's why it's dangerous because you know, yeah <laughs> it's dangerous too because i'll be seeing things and like i'll notice things i like to say i'm a very observant person mm-hmm. um when you just watch take in and you just see what people do and stuff i'm like wow there are so much like because I it will take a lot to piss me off and get fired up. But when I want to get fired up, I'm like, oh, I'll use it on the podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'll see, oh, this, see, I'm about to get going. <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all, <laughs> it's all it takes. For example, like uh, like it's just like dumb stuff that happens where people give you like the dumbest excuses for something, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, 
I'm going to come out on that podcast about it. And if you happen to come across it and feel some type of way, that's on you. You shouldn't have did what you did. But, I mean, it's pretty, like, like what we're discussing is pretty similar to uh, stand-up comedy. You know what I mean? Yes, like, bro. It's going to come out. Because <laughs> what people, like, what people don't realize is, like, I, I mean, not what people don't realize. I'm sure plenty of people realize. But if you've never thought about this before, um, a lot of comedians... Their best shit isn't necessarily it's, something that they came up with because they were fucking like sitting at a desk like, oh, what should I write about now? Their best it. shit is when is when uh, they get like like their wife doesn't bring their car to the thing, so then they miss this, and then th- this one's bitching at this, and like l- yeah. like like there's just shit going on, especially like. Things that make you angry, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, when yeah. something makes you, when when things make you happy, it's like easy. Like yeah, you can talk about it and be like, oh yeah, that was so awesome. Like we did this, we did this. But like the like like you got to remember at the end of the day, anything that we do, it's 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 an outlet. You know, it's, it's a creative like expression. And what there's what's gonna come out the most are the things that piss us off. Exactly, you know? like, get the fire behind you. So yeah, I remember there was this like this one girl. That <laughs> here we go. Um, so, um, shit, we're 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 almost starting with this. All right, so there's this one girl that used to apparently had a thing for me in high school. Okay, my nice. two of my boys were always saying that like I should date her. I yeah, chose yeah. somebody else over her. Completely wrong move. Hey, but you you live and learn. You know what I'm saying? You live and learn is what it is. Um, like I was, hey man, I was head he over had, heels for that at one least, person. At least you had moves, bro. You know, <laughs> at least you had moves. Yeah. You know so like, uh, I chose one. I chose the losing team. Is what it is. Um, I was like, so I, I've been single for a while. I'm sing, single on purpose because, well, ladies, hopefully, hopefully ladies, it you, ladies, Thursday. you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. After this Thursday, no, not, not only. <laughs> we'll let you know after this Thursday. We'll let you know after how, this how, Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, another thing, don't um don't show your date this podcast. Don't show your date. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this is trouble. I can't promote yeah. it now. No, I'm going yeah. to promote it. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, bro. It's the grind. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. I appreciate that. She ain't going to watch it. She ain't going to watch it. She ain't going to watch it. No way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 so we... So I was like, you know what? Um, no, it is what it is. Like, like I told you before, there's a difference when you're just trying to have a fling, and there's a difference when you're trying to lie. I was like, you know what? Hey, man, who cares? Mm-hmm. I was like, just shoot the shot. Like you're Steph Curry, it don't matter. Yeah, yeah. You just throw the ball. If it lands, it lands. If not, you just keep it moving, keep I li- pushing. I like your, I like your, your. Like think mindset. about it. A basketball player shoots how many threes in the game? They never go perfect, but the game doesn't end. They keep going. All right, just keep shooting the ball. Why can't get the press? Yeah. So I said, yo, facts, like, uh. Facts, facts. I hit her up and I said, "Yo, like, all right, cool. When am I taking you out or whatever?" I said, "Some, some mm-hmm. stupid." Um, clearly, I'm not trying to date. I sound fucked up for saying that. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you, well, that's how it is when you first. That's not fucked up. You, like, you never even met this girl. That ha- that's how it is when you first. Um, well, we went to school. Oh, uh, I okay. haven't seen her in like three years though. Okay, so it's been a while, but it's still, been a while. it's like it's casual. It's like you never know what. what like you gotta feel the vibes out. You exactly. Know? You, you can't have the, the expectation. Exactly. The so you get out. it. You get you it. You can't have the out, expectation. Man. So it's like I'm just gonna like take you out, not make it sound too pressurable, because you can't expect anything. Mm-hmm. And her response was, "Remember when you unfollowed me on Instagram?" Damn. And I was like, "What?" Damn. <laughs> I was like, "Girls, for- we, girls don't forget that shit." I was like, "All right, first of all, if that didn't pop up the most red flags like I ever got, and like God said." Leave that bitch in the leave that bitch in the, <laughs> like because like first of all, I don't remember who I unfollow. I barely remember going on Instagram to unfollow people. Yeah. It's not like I go on my way. Oh, you made a post. Let me unfollow you. I always unfollow if I if I look and I'm like, oh yeah, like I follow this person, and then I'll check their little follower box. Like I'll hit like who do they follow, and I'm not in it. I'll be like, bro, fuck like, you. I'll unfollow you, and then I unfollow. Right, yeah. I know we followed each other, so I think it must have been where I was just going through because I used to follow like a lot of meme pages and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was like, let me clear my page of that. So yeah. I'm think I went to my following and just went down the list and went da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. must be caught in that rift. I had no yeah. bad beef with her. Yeah, sometimes you just you know gotta like you just you just like clean out your your stuff. Right. It's weird like that we do that is but 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 it's just something it's just something we do. Bro. Yeah, I had no do. beef with her. Obviously, I'm asking you out. We ain't talking, so yeah. there's no what, reason for me to unfollow you purposely and not like you. And yeah. I was like, hold on. I was like, 
so you're going to say no because it's Instagram? I say, you know what? That's a good thing you would say no because let's just say we did go out and something pursued. I was like, you probably chaos in the bag right there. There's a reason why you're single. <laughs> chaos in the bag. Because if you're tripping over an Instagram follow, you're going to trip over everything else. Dude. Have I sound I sound so screwed up. No, I, no. Oh, I mean, so hey, I, I understand I do I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? Like if that's like the first thing you remembered of, and I was like, when did I even I asked her, I said, when did I even unfollow you? She said a while ago. I said, damn, so like you can't even tell me when. Yeah, I mean I it just you just gotta feel people out, man. Like she could have yeah, like like that you don't know. She could say that and then that could mean that could be a string of just like negativity for the whole night, or she could say that, and then you kind of like, like um, maybe she'll bust on you about it a little bit, but then it's like it's cool and like y'all get through. You never know. You yeah. never know. Never yeah. know. I, I didn't want to find out. I let it be. <laughs> left it on scene. Keep yeah. it moving. Keep it Keep moving. moving. <laughs> Keep it moving. If it rubbed you some type of way, bro, right. yeah, stay, yeah, stay in your, stay in your power. Like, that's my stay thing. in your power, right? King. That's why, <laughs> and that's why, like, I'm so single by choice because people have seen me stop talking to certain people once I see a red flag. Yeah. Once yeah, I see I a red flag, it's like it's like way I look at it is this: every girl wants a good guy until a good guy knocks at the door, right? Then it's like, ah, oh, do I really want it? Yeah, but those those girls, like they say, they might they might say they want a good guy, or a, a guy might say they want to be with like a nice girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've seen it go the other way, where and and I've been that guy. I feel like before where it's like. Guys would be like, oh, bro, I just want to meet a girl who's, like, sweet and nice. And then, like, a girl comes around, and you're like, nah. <laughs> like, you're like, nah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, like, so it can go either way. It's it's just, like, it's just one of those one of those um, yeah. weird things. You know, th- those girls where they might, they might say they want, like, oh, I want this, that, and the other thing. But if they just keep, like, like, girl or guy, like, if you just keep attracting bums, then you don't, mm. then you don't, deep down... You don't want uh, deep down. Deep so down, like you're not giving yourself that self respect. Self respect. They don't you know? have that self respect. But oh my god, he about to hit a nerve with me. We all, we all have to. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to. I'm not even trying to say like, like, um, like certain people don't have it and other people do have it. Like while while that is true, like that's not generalized. Like any anybody can have or not have self respect. Yeah, no, you know true. what I'm saying. You and just like, can't keep letting. You gotta learn from your mistakes. And when you when you don't have self-respect, most times you're going to keep yourself around those types of people mm-hmm. who, who you, aren't, who don't, who like really mm-hmm. don't have your best interest. You, you know put yourself in a box. It's the same thing I tell my closest friends that are in relationships. I'll be like a counselor, I guess you could say. This mm-hmm. is the best way I explain it. I say, look, you, some of them don't know how to not be alone for a little bit. And mm-hmm. just legitly work on themselves. Like, like don't they, talk, like don't they, get attention, um, don't get affection. Oh, so they like they'll be, they'll keep like reaching out to yeah, like yeah. be alone. To they fill can't right do that. To the next thing. So yeah. our way I refer to them is you're almost like a stock chart. You put yourself in this little box of 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 this circle that you're in, and you're gonna think you're doing well, right? Because something can happen. You you get a promotion at your job, or you just start a new job, or you graduate college. So there's your good thing that starts trending you upwards. You have these good t- times right now with someone who is toxic for you, but you'll still find those good moments and you'll keep riding them until a negative point hits and you're back down again. Mm-hmm. And then you'll find the next high wave and ride it and you put yourself in this little box, but no one could take themselves out of the box because no one's, no one's seriously willing to do it. I told my friends this, the ones I can't be blunt to without them really being too emotional. Mm-hmm. I told them, I was like, listen, put it this way. You're telling me this is your problem. This ex keeps hitting you up, or this guy keeps hitting you up, or this guy keeps doing that, and you can't stand it. You don't know what to do. I said, mm-hmm. here's your real problem. Block him. She <laughs> said, oh, but he's creating fake accounts. You, I said, you want to know your next step? I said, delete your social media. She goes, oh, but I don't want to do that. I said, here's my thing. You're getting mad because you're going, because Instagram, if I don't follow you, mm-hmm. and I want to message you, and you don't follow me, it goes into your request box. So you have the open Instagram Swipe over to your DMs. It'll say like one request, five requests or whatever. Hit the request. Mm -hmm. Then hit the message and accept to read it or not. Yeah. You're going out your way to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. For for someone you just blocked and now they're in a... Right. That's the one thing. Like, I know it's tough to like... I I know it's tough to... Gotta be mentally um, strong. To say... Yeah, it's tough to be assertive and like... And say no to people in times like that. You know what I mean? For, For those... For those people. But like... Uh... 
you yeah you if somebody's if you block somebody and you you like give them the hint and like they're persistent enough to create a whole ass fucking account to like to talk to you like um yeah that's just a person that's just kind of distance from yeah you know and like, like and 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 or wait go ahead go ahead sorry no i'm sorry i'm, I'm i cut you off but like you're going out you i said uh why are you doing that we mm. established 90 percent of the time when this happens we establish the person's no brain actually it's like 100 percent of the time first of all i like to say this if your relationship don't work out the first time and something went south mm. let it be move on don't try again I'm speaking from experience. That's just me. So I see that point of view. I'll be honest there. Other people will feel differently. It is what it is. Yeah, um, true. But if we establish this person is no bueno, they're a toxic, highly individual person. I asked the person, I said, why are you going on your way to read the message then? You don't want to delete social media, but you're also not mentally strong enough to not do the several steps to go out your way to read that message. I said, we established are toxic and they're horrible. So everything that you want them to say, they've already said it. You're not expecting them to say anything. What's causing you to read the message? Oh, I really don't know. So my problem is, I said this, you can't come to me. You cannot complain about it happening if you allow it to happen. You allow it to be relevant when you go out your way to open. Instagram tells you if you've seen the message. Yeah. So yeah, if you, you create, if I create a fake account. You let's could say, just delete the message and not, not read it. Right. Let's yeah. say I... Um, Create a fake account. I'm stalking you or whatever. Yeah. And you open my message on my fake account, and I see that you've seen it because you're accepting all of them. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be like, oh, I'm getting to you. Yeah. I'm going to keep going until I get what I want from you. Yeah, The yeah. way I look at it is like, uh, especially when a lot of times I've seen this more because I have several girl, like just girl, like not several girlfriends. I've couple, I have two. Um, The guy, if a guy feels like, I think this honestly works let's, advice. Let's clarify for your date. Girl, girl, <laughs> girls, girls that are your friends, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. not yeah. girlfriends. Yeah, girl yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, I like to say, like, if a guy knows they have you in the back pocket, mm -hmm. they will go do whatever they want if they know they have this hold on you. Yeah, yeah. Because they know you'll always forgive them and come back. So they always have that quick hookup or they that quick fix whenever they want it. Yeah, yeah. Because they know, okay, I got away with it before. I'm still getting away with it. You're yeah, like they can... so bought into me. I can well, do Well, the what thing I want. is, is like you just have to... It all comes down to self-respect like we were talking about. If you... It depends what you want out of a person and what what they want out of you. Yeah. And if you... If you really like, if if your goal, if the goal is to really be with somebody and be like, you know, like like together with them, like locked down, then like you can't be dealing with bums that are like gonna cheat on you or Facts. bums that are and or people yeah. people who are gonna like not. And it's I'm not trying to say because look, we're all human and things happen. Things happen. And like everybody has experiences and shit happens. Like I'm not I'm not the, I'm not trying to say like. Oh, if you've ever cheated or if you've ever this or if you've ever that, like, you're a terrible person. Like, people do things, they make mistakes, it happens. But if there's a pattern of behavior of, like, unfair, controlling, like, manipulative behavior, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's when it really becomes an issue. Get out of there. And, and until people, it takes people a long time to gain that self-respect, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But, like, uh, the only way to really push yourself to leave or to get out of there is if you uh find that uh not only that self-respect but that self-love exactly you know? and, and being able to being able to feel strong on um strong just from what's inside you and not yeah. what another person thinks exactly and you gotta learn to be um fully 100 percent confident committed to yourself like for example, I'll just, I'll just be flat out about it. Like, what I look for in a person is, okay, if I go against a relationship with a person, I'm looking to grow with you, right? You're going to do your thing, I'm going to do my thing, but we're going to build together, you know what I'm saying? It's just going to come hand in hand. It's going to be like a 50-50 thing because the way I used to look at it is, like, I would either – there was time – no, fuck that. My last relationship, I was definitely putting more into. The second time around, she put a little more into, but then fell off, is what it is. Um, but it happens. It yeah. happens. You live and learn. You gotta live learning and curves. you learn. But you yeah. gotta get hundred percent confidence in yourself. You gotta be mentally strong because if this other person doesn't like you for you, mm -hmm. you can't let that kill you. 
All right, I I I went twenty years of my life without knowing you. Yeah, I'm not gonna let the rest of my life or the next few years or months affect it because you decide you I'm not good enough for you. I want to look for someone that can grow. So like the girl I'm taking out Thursday, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Of course, I think she's beautiful, right? That's usually the first indicator that makes you want ah uh, you find this person attractive. Yeah, you have to. That that it's so funny too because people will be like um. Like look, like look should never matter, and like it's like I understand what you're trying to say, but biologically, deep down, for every right, human right. on this earth, if I was for every <laughs> human on this earth, looks matter. I don't, if I was it, ugly as shit, but had the best personality and slid in your DMs, you wouldn't give me the chance of day because one, you don't know who I am, and two, <laughs> you can say, oh, nice guys, it's, it's all about the personality. No, 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 I've seen ugly guys shoot their shot and always get turned down. Because they weren't physically attracted off the rip. It's just how it's just how it is. Like like there's but but you gotta remember there's uh physical attraction like beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you know? So like ahead, there's king. someone out ahead, there king. someone out there for everybody. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But but yeah, deep down, like if you're deep down not attracted to a person, it just it just can't, can't it just can't work. Exactly. It just so can't work. I obviously found her beautiful. I didn't want to slide her DMs because we don't know each other. I feel like I you I feel like you're always at disadvantage. If it's never there's a 50-50 coin toss. If you're signing into a random girl DMs that you don't know, mm-hmm. you're more likely to get turned down because she's like, I don't know if I want to fuck with you. Because if she looks at your page, she'll just think, oh, you're probably a fuckboy. Or she could think that and then get turned her away. Mm-hmm. So I said, yeah, let me go to her friend. Her <laughs> friend, they were all out one night and you can call it bold. My friend thought I was a little bold. I was like, hey, it is what it is. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Can't be scared. They were all out. Yeah, you at gotta dinner. be. You gotta be um confident. Yeah, they were all out at dinner. So I sw- swiped up and said, "Yo, your friend's cute." And he goes, "Oh, well, now they're gonna tell everybody that you're talking about her." I said, "Who cares?" That, that, I was like, "Anything that could be a positive for me." Yeah, bro. Because if they pull me up, I'll be a conversation. If they do, hypothetically, it all I'm depends if you own it. Because like, that's the thing. Like, like, say like you're saying like, like having the confidence to reach out and say something about about a um about a girl that you that you find interesting right. to her like, friend while they're all together to her friend while they're all together like like um it sounds like uh they were it sounds like your buddy was coming from the perspective of like oh shit like what if they like all talk about talk about you and shit but like as long as you own up to that and that's how you feel then that then that's it's, fucking it is, what it, is. it is then that that's what it is you know what i'm saying like like now if you were going to be like yo tell your friend she's cute and then like and then you like see them and be like, oh, like, yeah, like what, like yeah. you're shy about it. It's like you're that's screwed. that's a whole different thing. Hold but that like, L. but if you didn't mean it, if you don't mean it, don't say it. Right. If you mean it, say, say it with it. your damn chest. Exactly. You know. And the way I looked at it was, this would be a, give me a better chance because the friend knows who I am. You know, we used to work together in different departments in the same uh, building. Her ex was my coworker. She knows me. She knows my personality. So I was like, if you don't like me, you're not going to throw me to oop at your friend. You'll give me every excuse under the sun for me not to shoot my shot. But if you do like me, you'd give me the green light. She gave me the green light. She said, give her a follow. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like that's a pretty on point analogy. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? If the best friend don't like you, she'll be like, nah, she's talking to somebody or she's got a relationship. She'll yeah, say, true, she don't, true. I don't know her and she don't know me. So she can say whatever. She, but she gave me the green light. Slid in, talk, going out Thursday. I was like, all right. The people she Honestly, rolls with. Honestly, you took you took a good, you took a good course because she was because like, because like uh, if you would have hit her up out of the blue, like she probably I'm not saying she probably would have still been interested, but like you, I I like because it's like people you know from like a little bit back in the day, it, so like it's a comfortable you, feeling. You know? Yeah, you hit up you hit yeah, so you hit up the friend. The friend is like, oh, the friend is like, oh my god, he's so nice, like consider it, like he hit me up, like <laughs> fucking um. So then, if if the friend likes you, bro, like. You're, you could be in. You're in. You're and the, in. You're the way in. I love to judge it, you know what I'm saying, is everyone puts on personas, right? Um, everyone puts on personas when they try to meet people to give themselves the best impression. But the way I like to look at it is, you could really tell if someone's a good person by looking at their friend group. Show me your five people, and mm. I can tell you who you are. I know. I don't know her friend group, but I know um, some friends that she's posted, right? Mm-hmm. And you look at her Instagram page or you see the people that post her on her story or that she puts on her story. Okay, mm-hmm. I worked with you. I know you. I worked with you. We've been cool for years. You all are genuine good people. 
you know, mm-hmm. a piece of shit can't hang out with genuine good people. Yeah, it just never doesn't work. It just never so like, gels. These like... people are really cool. <laughs> they're really cool. Wait, I love the way you think. <laughs> you, you cracking me up. Like <laughs> they're if they're really cool, they're really good people. That tells me already about you that you are a good person. So you're beautiful. You're a good person, right? You you always hope, but mm-hmm. from what I see, all right, bet. You also <laughs> just graduated college and you have something you want to do. So mm-hmm. you're working for yourself. It's not like you're unknown. I talked to a chick who is unknown about tomorrow. I was like, I can't date you. Yeah. I was like, mm-mm. I need someone working on theirs so somehow, shape, or form. Yeah, yeah. Go Wait, do what do you, you mean by unknown? Like, like, what do you mean by unknown? Uh, what I say? I kind of forget. Like, How did I say that? Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like, no, you're good. <laughs> I'm you're on good. Field. You mean, so like, I, so you mean someone that you kind of like already kind of knew from like another place, like, like compared to like, or what do you what do you mean by unknown? Like you just don't. Like How do I use the word like, unknown? Unknown, like you, like you, like unknown, like y'all did don't know each other, or unknown, like um, you know, bro, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I forget I, how I, I used even it. Rem- I can't um, even remember. Yeah, I forgot. I think it just came out. I don't know. I don't know if I was saying unknown as in like was I talking about the girl who had like no like plans for anything in life? The one who said, uh, you guys, y'all were talking about like tomorrow, like. Uh, oh, she was unknown about tomorrow. Like she didn't know what she wanted to do tomorrow. Oh, so like, like she wasn't in college. So it's kind of hard to like plan. Yeah. yeah, she she didn't. She wasn't in college. She had like a little cashier job, and she didn't even know what she wanted to do tomorrow. I was like, oh, you really don't even have yourself figured out. Go do you. Okay, be, King. Be who you uh, be, are. Yeah. I'm a back yeah, at that get, situation. Yeah, I understand. I understand. You don't want you don't want somebody look. And it's like it's not even with a relationship, but just with anyone in life. Like you want to be the person, you want to be the person with the, like around the other people where you're like, damn, I gotta get my shit together. Yeah. You, know? you don't want to be because like it's it is one thing to be around somebody where you're like, damn, like this person makes me look good. Like I got <laughs> I got this done. I got this. Like I got you know. But like being around being a big fish in a little pond is gonna get you nowhere. Exactly. You know what I'm saying you gotta hang around the people or um, even date. Like like so many guys have the this um insecurity of being like i need to be more successful than like the girl or like my Fuck girlfriend that. you know what i'm saying bro start dating a chick who's got her shit together yeah. let her so make more so money she, than me yeah, motivate or, me. or let yeah exactly let her motivate you so y'all can fucking be Build successful together, exactly. together you know what i'm I'd saying i'd rather be a lonely like, line than a girls i'm saying the same thing to to you about your guys and like and like that doesn't mean go out and find a really rich successful successful guy and start leeching. You know what I'm saying? And guys, yes. same thing. That doesn't mean go out and find a sugar mama or some shit. <laughs> like like if you're driven, you determine you want to get shit done. Go out there and find somebody who can fucking whether it's a friend or a partner or a fucking uh uh just like somebody you met at the fucking park or some shit. Like like go find people who can bring your your yeah. your vision yeah, up, you know exactly. what I'm saying, and help you. Rather be a lonely lion than a herd of sheep, you know. Yeah, yeah. You can't do that. So I was like, this girl, she's got every feature so far that like I would look forward to. So I was like, I need to take you out. I want to take you out. So hopefully Thursday everything goes good. I'm confident it's gonna go good. Yeah, man, I think I'm you got it, bro. Go a good. little bit, yo, just just a, like like we were talking about, man. You go to the bar, have a couple drinks, break the ice. Break you know that. what I'm saying? Wait good. a little bit, fucking um. Maybe even if you do call, you make a reservation. You make the reservation at six thirty, but you tell her I made it at six. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not saying I, I'm not saying open up the the relationship with a lie. But, yeah. <laughs> but but be like we cannot show her this episode. Be like be like yo like I made it, let's get let's get there. It's just, or don't even say reservation, but just just be like let's get there at six, and then and then um. Be like you wanna be like you wanna you wanna grab grab a drink at the bar and you sit at the bar have a couple drinks just open up talk to each other a little yeah, bit yeah. S- simple questions bro like like not e- like you know just like just be be genuine and like um don't talk unless she asks you a question yeah exactly you, know what you what have saying? to listen that's the key folks guys, guys you can't talk you have to listen to her guys it's almost like we don't realize it but we love talk like. Girls only want to talk about themselves, yeah. right? I'm not even going to like, mention the podcast like, on the date. Or, or um, what'd you say? I'm not even mentioning my podcast on the date. Yeah, yeah, you it's should. It's not happening. Oh, don't, don't, no, yeah, I'm don't, not. don't, 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 <laughs> don't mention this podcast. Don't mention yeah. this podcast. Yeah, um, yeah, fucking, 
I'll promote yeah. it after the date, depending <laughs> when it goes up. <laughs> you, yeah, man, you guys break the ice and just like for anybody listening out there, like if you're looking for like I, I'm really not the person to be giving dating advice. But like, <laughs> why, why but, like you but if you're just looking for like bait the basics, like general shit, like just ask simple questions, like um, so like um. Like what have you been up to? Like oh, what you had like how how was work? Like, oh yeah, oh like, yeah, we got that. Where, where do you like this, these you know, conversations are like, gonna be on point? Fucking um, you know like uh, and and that's the other thing too. Like it, think of it like like for you at least, think of it like a podcast where like don't hype yourself up in your head for what you think it's gonna be, mm-hmm. and then like go in there and Thanks. try to create that. You just, just gotta just let it let natural. It, just be in the moment. I used man. to be like that. Be in the present. And I also be dealt present. with girls that couldn't talk. Like they were yeah. they were more like uh, what's that word? Um, introverted. Yeah. Right. That's the right one. Yeah. Extroverted, yeah. Where you're like more like me. Well, yeah. Yeah. To yeah. 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 So I was like <laughs> I was like dealt where it was like kind of like <laughs> tugging nails, like pulling teeth just yeah, to talk to you. Just, <clears throat> yeah and getting one word answers but i feel like things. she's different you know <clears throat> yeah just the vibe i get off social media so i was like all right oh it's gonna be good yeah and i'm not mentioning the damn podcast for shit yeah don't, don't unless don't. you ask about it and you like it's in my bio on instagram mm-hmm. so i feel like if you follow my page and whatever's in my bio you probably click the link or click the tag yo just wait bro let her find let, let her, her find, find out it. exactly like let like tell her about it kind of eventually but like but just like if she finds out like early on on her own just let it be bro, bro. oh yeah just thanks the, the radio show you know what i'm saying you pen uh the graphics producer and the podcast won't be talked about I'm like i just do construction no i mean honestly but talk talk about all of it like you gotta understand like like it like a podcast sure like what while I'm not trying to say there aren't tons of female podcasts out there because I know there are, but it's like generally like, uh, oh, it's like a guy's, or if you tell the guys, they'd be like, oh, bro, that's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like girls, it, you might think it, throw, it might throw a girl off, but it's like we were talking about earlier, like be your damn self. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And like, and like, um, with what you, with what you've done and like what you've been able to do, like anyone, like, like, a, like a girl or whoever, when you tell them, like, they're going to be more impressed with the fact that you're busy and you got your shit together yeah. and you're, you're working on your own shit, yeah. then, then be, pre- then be like weirded out by like, Oh, what? Like he's a podcast. Like what? Yeah. Is he Joe Rogan? Like, <laughs> is he Joe like, Rogan? <laughs> like, like who is this guy? Cause you know like that I mean? was one like, thing that scared me is like, am I going to be busy? And I had to like, I, it's not like I had to sit down and talk to myself, but it was like, all right, like how busy am I to ha- and, like have a relationship to where like, just gotta find balance. You know, it it's really just depends if you want it, bro. It really just depends what you want. Yeah, with this one, uh, and I'm. And it sounds and you so won't, wild. You I, won't know. You honestly won't know until like, like they'll they'll be a no matter who it is, whether it's this girl that you go out with next week or somebody you go out with in the future, or whoever. Like you'll like you'll know if it's worth your time. You exactly. know what I'm saying? You'll yeah. know if it's worth your time. You just you hope for the best. We don't expect nothing. And I was like, you know what? Between. So I got three things I'm doing right now between the podcast, the radio show, and the uh, the side jobs I do. So I was like, I can definitely make time. My biggest problem is I can't be like my last relationship where I was spending too much. Okay. You know, it was like, yeah. Oh, what do you mean spending too much time or like or money? Money. Money. A lot See, of money. That's the thing, man. You have to set. All right, I sound feel... really cheap. I'm sorry to cut you off. <laughs> Let me explain that. I sounded really cheap. So here's my problem. I was too. Here's my, I, will, I will so throw myself under the bus here. I was so head over heels for that last like my last girl it was my first relationship, like first person I ever said I love you too. Yeah, you yeah. know the first shit you get out the way. Yeah. So I felt yeah. like she can never pay for anything if we yeah. ever went out somewhere. I'd yeah. always pay, and she would offer. I'm like, nah, I appreciate you offering, but I'll pay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or it's like. Yeah. Damn, bro! You, <laughs> you, you bought her. The, you, you you bought. Dude, were you connected? Were you were you connected to the dog, bro? No. No. It's That's re-homed. good. At least it's rehomed. It would with... it would suck if it would suck if you were like buddies. If you were like buddies with the dog, and then y'all broke up. And then... it's a good thing you brought that up. So here's my problem. The reason why I spent a lot of money in my last relationship was 100 percent my fault. This new relationship isn't gonna be the same way. Obviously, mm-hmm. I learned a lot, and this girl's not like that. She's just making her own money. She's doing her own thing. Not mm-hmm. saying I expect her to pay for the first date or any days going forward, but whatever happens, happens. Mm-hmm. I'll pay for the first date. I'm not <laughs> saying that. I sound stupid right now. I sound like, well, <laughs> like we said, just don't let her see this, bro. Well, let her don't see let this. her see this shit. Uh, <laughs> nah, but dude, I know what you mean. Like you have to, 
you have to set a you have to set like a healthy boundary, you know, and everybody yeah. has their different opinions on who they think should do what or whatever. Mm-hmm. But just set just set a healthy boundary, bro, you exactly. know, and it's it's but but another thing though, like you have to set a healthy boundary for what you feel comfortable um spending just in, in your own life, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like just just a just a word of advice for like for anybody out there who's in a relationship or somebody who's looking to be in a relationship like talk to him never f- I, this is hard because inevitably it's going to happen but try to like just try to never fight about money you know what i'm saying because like money like anything put it this way like unless unless uh your girlfriend or your boyfriend steals money out of your purse or takes your your bank account or takes your credit card and uses it without you asking like as long as you pay for something like you did that that's your decision not theirs you know what i'm saying so like it's it's hard because like as guys a lot of times just for an example we like you said like we decide like nah like maybe i got that i got that i'll pay for everything but then like if you're giving with an expectation you're just growing resentment you know what i'm saying it's not you can't give if you give with expectation like you've already failed you know and that's something that it took me like being in a relationship to realize like one time I remember I got like, because we were kind of going back and forth on like, like, um, kind of like a turn type thing at the time. And like, I didn't have as much money back then and neither of us did, but like, we were kind of going back and forth with like, with paying and it was her turn. And I was like, yeah, like, are you trying to go eat? Like fucking like, um, whatever. And she was like, yeah, like, I don't know if I can like swing it right now, but like, if you want to pay for it, like we could, uh, like we could go. And it just made me like really mad because it made me feel like what the fuck like it's not my turn like whatever like like and it kind of created this whole like thing. But then I'm thinking you know what at the same time like I could be bitching about paying like about thinking about paying this forty bucks for this fucking meal or this breakfast or whatever, or I could be focused on all right what what can I go out and do to make to do better and make more money to the point where I never even got to worry about that shit. You right, know what I'm facts. saying? Like, and, and more importantly, oh, my bad. Uh, oh, you're good. I you're good. I have the sound on in this. You're good. More importantly, um, like, is, especially if we're, like, recirculating this same, like, 40, 100, because a lot of times that's what couples do, bro. They'll be like, oh, I'll pay, I'll pay, and they, they just throw, they're just recirculating the same hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, um, I'm like, am I really gonna get, like, upset over, like, upset and, like, resentful and be, like, mean to the person that I care about, the person I love, over the cost of this meal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, I'm not saying that means, like, oh, if you're out there, like, you should just always pay or you should just always this, like, like, do what you're comfortable with and, like, establish a comfortable boundary. You don't have to do it in an argumentative way. You don't have to do it in, like, a in an upsetting or mean way. Like, you can just be, be honest about it. You know what I'm saying? I know that can be tough, but um, don't even sweat that shit. You know what I mean? Do not, like, 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 here, here's how I always look at it. When I started dating uh, my current girlfriend, V, like the person I'm with now, we, I had zero dollars, bro. I mm-hmm. took, I remember we went to Wawa. Like, this is before we were even really, like, dating. We were just kind of, like, seeing each other after, like, hanging out after school and shit and like i was like yo like um let's go let's go get some food let's go to wawa and she was like all right we go and um she was i think i had told her like oh i only have like four dollars left on my fucking debit account or something like that like that that's all i had like bro literally to my name Mm. at that time that's all i fucking had and she was like oh she was like oh shit like okay like well, like, oh, sorry. Right, right, <laughs> I'm right, fucking, right. um, she's like, well, like, should I bring my wallet? And I'm like, nah, fuck that. Like, I got it. You know, trying to be like Bist or Big Shot again. Like we were talking about with the Chick-fil-A thing. Like, like, <laughs> nah, like I got that shit. You know what I mean? We go up, order food and lo- on the little thing in Wawa, get some snacks, whatever. Go to the front. I go to pay. I stick my card in. And the guy's like, and to, and for the rest. And I was like the fuck you mean the rest like i was like what are you talking about he was like sir there was only four dollars on your card um i still need like 13 bucks or something and i was like 
oh shit and i didn't have cash on me and i turned to her how i'm fucking embarrassing is this bro i turned to her and i'm like yo like do you have any cash and like she was like no i left my wallet in the car because you told me that you that you got it like and i was like i was like oh bro like i fucked up i was like i'm really fucked up and thank god the guy behind me in line fucking paid fucking it, it, it was really embarrassing but the guy's like an angel you know what i mean because it would have been more embarrassing to be like walking sorry out, we walking. we can't oh, yeah. we, or walking out walking back in or being like sorry like we can't get the, our food you know what i mean like that mm. shit would have been fucking soul crushing and it even even it even still was like what happened you know what i mean and i was like i was like ah oh, fuck like like it made me feel like and obviously like it concerned her because that's kind of a red flag you know what i mean like if when somebody on one of the first dates like like kind of asks you for money or is like or, or like is is literally broke like yeah. has nothing to their fucking name you right. know it's Speaks like volumes which, for her though she's still with you true that's the way i try to think about it you know like it was kind of a blessing in disguise because like i wasn't really like doing all that uh not not even all that well like i was in I was in college. I was, you know, everyone ha- talks about the typical like broke college student. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was like normal, whatever. But when I think back, I'm like, damn, bro. Like I really had like zero. I had no money to my name, and like that. It took that moment for me to realize, like, to start learning more about finance and get it, because I didn't know shit about finance or like like stocks or how people make money and things like that. Like I didn't know anything about anything like that, and I was like, you know what, like. I have to start teaching myself because you're in that shit right now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, ha- I, you fucking, I had to, I had to, I had to start getting. Cause you know, another thing too is like, I am by nature a lazy person, and mm-hmm. like, I let me explain that. I don't necessarily mean like I'm s- lazy about everything that I care about, but I know deep down that like, I'm not the type of motherfucker that likes waking up at six a.m. I'm not the type of motherfucker that likes work working at a job like eight to 12 hours a day or something like i am and like the things i'm into like stand-up comedy and and podcasting and things like that are like they're kind of work fields that are like not everything's always guaranteed you Mm -hmm. know it's kind of more like like um trying to build yourself up and then also maybe gig work and things like that but it's not your own yeah um, it's not it's not always consistent work so i was like yo if i'm really gonna like be into this and do this like i gotta learn i gotta learn about how to take care of my money you know what i'm saying and like and and let it let it work for me the best it can and also just just the fucking embarrassment of that moment of being like bro i have zero dollars and zero cents to my name and if that dude didn't pay for for me back there like i wouldn't even be able to eat this food like like i have nothing that really Cause I was always the type of dude that like, I wouldn't save shit and I would just kind of like, just keep just enough to try and get by to the next thing Mm -hmm. I had to do. Like Mm -hmm. I'd have like 300 and I'd be like, Oh bro. Like, like I would work for like the week or like weekend, like back, back then, which was like not even as much cause I really wasn't working that much. And it'd be like, it'd be like, you know, say you have 300 bucks. I'd be like, bro, I'll spend a hundred on fucking, I don't know, like weed or some shit. Mm -hmm. And then spend like, this on this and then that and then it's like pretty soon it's like you have no money but i would always have that little bit of cushion to be like all right i got something like, yeah, yeah. figured out you know and like to really be once i realized that i was out like with somebody and like like and also realized i hit a certain it kind of that moment helped me realize that i'm hitting a certain age where i'm like fuck like i gotta get my shit together yeah you know what i'm saying bro and i just tried to set up the the base for that shit for myself to succeed in that way because i was like yo i don't want i don't want a moment like that to ever happen again yeah you know i feel that. like last night when we were drinking i was at the bar mm-hmm. i created the same i create savings plans like no other like every time oh, i get well, you paid were doing you were doing a little math a little yeah <laughs> how much i got paid for the week and then where all i ever my deductions for everything i would put money into whether it was my podcast i have three funds house fund podcast student loan fund i'll get paid i divvy some money up to there i subtract that that's how much i have remaining then i'll put so for example there were several shit because we were at several places that day i started i started uh i got down to 500 Mm dollars. that's how much i had um and i just based out the rest of my night if i spent this much money 
I would have that much left over for the next week so I get paid weekly. Okay. When I get paid again. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. okay. Um You're just doing your budgeting, man. That, yeah, that's, that's, I do that. You're doing your due 24/7. diligence. Twenty four seven. I'm so you know? I get called a Jew that's with good. my money. Uh my <sighs> this day's gonna think I'm cheap. I'm not like that cheap. When it comes to me, I'm a cheap ass. I will be the cheapest person ever when it's when it's to me. When it's you or somebody else, my boy, family, friends, you got them clothes on my back. When it's mm-hmm. me, I'm really cheap, and my boss is like, oh, you're a Jew with your money. I was like, well, I'm only me. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, we better hope your boss don't listen to this shit. <laughs> oh, I love my boss. He, bro. he don't give a fuck. He's, he's, oh, don't he give don't a give a fuck. fuck. We mess around all the yeah. time. That's yeah. my guy. Yeah, I mean, hey, man, you got to be, put it this way. Um, You can be, like, there, there's nothing wrong with budgeting and being practical and, like, and, and saving and not, not, spending your money away willy-nilly you know what i mean and having a good budget but <laughs> put it this way like i always try to think in my head like excuse me no no, no problem oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> I always think in my head like if i have those extra two bucks to like tip somebody or to give to somebody like yeah uh, i'll be doing that. Let, let me do it because like because like you don't want to be stingy with your money yeah you know i'm saying because if you tipping. give if you like i this is like the one, and I've been pushing this a lot in the, in the podcast recently, but if there's one thing that I believe is true in this universe, it's that if you give, you receive. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I do do that. Like, I call myself a really good tipper, I think. Like, if I really like you as my server, I'll give you like, like I've given people more than 20%. Like, for example, my barber, he cuts my hair for like 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. I pay him 40. <laughs> Damn. Like, yeah, I pay him 40. And actually the other day, that's a 100% tip, my guy. <laughs> yeah. He gave me a, he was, he was like, you want to take off your facial hair? I was like, I was like yeah, because I can't connect right here. Okay. So, if like, okay. right here, this sideburn, the one in this part, it, like, stops, and then there's a little gap right here. This yeah, will yeah. connect. This will connect. It's, like, all uneven down here, but yeah. this part don't connect. So, I'm like, yeah, now I'm yeah. not growing it out. Yeah, yeah, I like I the scrappy you. look a little bit, but I wanted to clean it for, we went yeah. out that night. Yeah, yeah. I so, I gave him you. 45 Okay. You went that little extra mile, I'll give you that little extra something. Yeah, bro. You know, because yeah. the normal haircut's 40, and then you're going to go do that, why am I going to pay you the same thing I would pay you for just this when you did that? Just and, a little extra. And you know what? Like, I mean, if you keep tipping, if you keep, like, putting money into something that you like and that you enjoy, like a service that you enjoy, that place will stay open. Exactly. That's why, like, even when I go to pick up takeout, I'll still tip the people because I'm, if I like the restaurant, because I'm like, yo, I like, I fuck with this restaurant. Like, I want this. I, you know, I ride for this place. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That doesn't mean necessarily I need, I need them to be like, yo, go check out the Eggcast podcast or some yeah. shit for me. But like them just staying open and supplying food, bro, is good enough. You know, yeah, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, like um, it's just about support. You know, like it, it whether. Whether your support is rec- recognized or not by, like, say, like, the person or the business or this or that, like, your support will be recognized by the universe, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, and that shit will be brought back to you tenfold. 100%. You know what I'm saying? 100%. It's all about... It's it's funny. Like, I have some friends who don't believe in karma, and I'm like, how the fuck do y'all not believe in, no, that shit real. in karma? You know? Like, everyone... Like, they... I guess they just think, oh, that's just because of, like, your, like, emotions or whatever. But no, nah, it's true, man. Like, if you give and you you, you're gonna get out what you put in you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. and if you're constantly conniving and deceiving people and like not not giving and just take 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 uh there's not gonna be like like there's not gonna be much in the world for you to like really like even though you're taking all these things it's like what do you have what what do you really have you know i don't know if that i don't know if that really makes no 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 no. i get what you're saying yeah like like even though you're taking like you might be stingy where you don't tip at this, you don't tip at places and then you don't, you um, keep this, this and this and you swindle somebody out of this and you ask for a loan for this and then you never pay him back because like you don't like respect those people or whatever. Like that's, that's only just going to bring upon bad things. You yeah, know? yeah, effects. And like less and less people in your corner. You know, the most, the most valuable asset we have at the end of the day, more than money or more than like, success or whatever are people you know it's your circle yeah having your pe- circle having people on your side honestly and and that's one thing like i generally love and like i never thought i would be that person because of who i was in high school 
mm-hmm. type of person I was in high school and the type of I, I hung out with great friends. Obviously, I hung out with great friends because our friend group just went out last night and we've been out of high school for four years. Mm-hmm. You know, well, it's going on four years this year. Um, uh, shit, lost my train of thought. I got it. Um, <laughs> so it's like I always had cool people, but I've never felt more like loved and like pushed like this is crazy i'm about to just spiel but you gotta follow follow me yeah guys. let's go let's go let's <laughs> so go. like it's I'm, crazy because i it. never felt like this like love support from people like i will post something on my podcast i don't have to say a word my boy naeem my boy james they're sharing it off the rip khalifa same. trayvon they're just sharing it i'm like Yo. oh damn you're doing it i didn't have to say a damn thing same shit bro shout out to sean kevin like, manny um, I'm trying to think of who else, like different, different, my boy, Don, different people. They just, they like, I'll just, ch- I'll, I'll, that's the best. When you look at one of your friend's stories, just, mm-hmm. just like, just like on Instagram, bulling around and you see, and you. you see you, you see your I'm stuff. I'm like, damn, You're my like, boy damn. Noah too. I can't forget you. I'm not trying to forget people. I'm not trying to cut yeah. you off either. No, 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 not at all. Not um, at all. Not at all. And my, my friend Joey, yeah. he came home from the Navy. He's back. He came back for Kyle's birthday. He Damn, yo. Thank you for your service, Joe. Yeah, yeah, Joe. Joe my and man. Matt. Joe and Matt. Matt's in the Army. He's in the Louisiana. Matt, thank Joe, you for your service. He's on a sub, he's, he's a submarine guy or whatever they call him. Okay. But he was like in Guam and he's now in Japan. No, he lives in Hawaii now, but he's back here. <clears throat> he has one more year left. Um, I saw Joe, obviously, this twice this past week. The one night where he came home, we we're over there chilling, having a couple of drinks, just enjoy his time back. Mm. And it was crazy that Joe went out of his way to put his mom on my podcast. Joe uh-huh. went out of his way to talk about the podcast, and and he was genuine about it because he was like, "Mom, you did you listen to this podcast yet?" And he's like, "I sent you stuff," and I was like, mm-hmm. "This is crazy." And yesterday at the bar, his he has some of his Navy's buddies there, and he's like, "Yo, he has a podcast. Like, this is what I've been trying to tell y'all." He's the guy. He would. He's look, hyping you up. He, See, dude, you're you're hanging around the right people, bro. Yeah. You gotta hang around people who fucking who push your shit up and like they they support your dream. They support exactly. what you want to do. There's nothing worse than hanging around a motherfucker where you say like, "Oh, I want to start a podcast," and they're like, "Ah, well, why? You, that, that's why are you gonna do that? Yeah. That's silly. That's some bullshit." Nah, bro. Real real people who are about accomplishing things and getting out there and living the good life and like being successful. And like are like they care and are fucking you know um m- they they motivate people they inspire people they will always they're no they're they're not dream killers you know what yeah. I mean they will always help they and are push there and to build you push yeah they'll help build you up and give you confidence and push exactly. and push what you want to do and that's you what, what they I'm do because Joey wasn't saying it as if he was telling him just now he was like that's the guy I was talking about who has a podcast who does this at the third yeah. I'm sitting over here like damn I just got started I'm no no Joe Rogan I don't have no professional but people be stuff. talking about you and people you know what are I'm talking saying? about people it. are talking people and somewhere are always talking about that it, shit you know? somewhere or another always means the most to me you it can never be... know who's watching you never know who's tuning in true I have one uncle who I know is the most supportive in my podcast because he's the most tuned in that's my uncle Mikey I love you. Um, not disrespecting anyone else in the family, but <laughs> you know he's the only one yeah, that's really out. in tune to the podcast because he's commenting, he's liking every post I do. He tunes into yeah. the YouTube videos and stuff. That's and like my um my grandmother nanny. Shout out. She was actually on episode seventy two. If you want to go back and 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 meet nanny, she was on that episode. I have to do that. Yeah, she she be watching. She's a she was a huge Howard Stern fan. Okay. Over the years, and like she loves she loves stuff like this, and like she's been watching all the podcasts. She loves See? she. Loves them. Shout out, Nanny, if you're still listening. You know, uh, I love you. We appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? So you know the vibe. Yeah, you gotta keep. You gotta keep people. That's the thing, bro. Like, as long as you're doing it for one person, even if it's just your, fu- even if it's just your mom, bro. Even if you know how everybody's first thing, it's like their mom is the one who's like, um. You know, like I, I used to post shit and literally my mom would be the only one to comment under it and be like, this is so awesome. You know what I'm saying? But I was yeah. always like, you bro, like as long as you can do it for one person out there, you know, it's going to end up being more. But as, as long as you can, as long as whatever I'm saying out here and whatever you're saying and like whatever anybody's somebody. saying, not only, yeah, not, not only do I love doing this because we get to like connect and like we like I, I met you through um. Like I, I would have never even thought I would have met Eddie. Like I met him by chance, and I met you through him. Through and him. and because I'm like, yo, this motherfucker is really on a podcast right now. Like I, because I was thinking about asking him, him to be on my podcast right when I saw that, and I was like, yo, somebody fucking beat me to to the to the punch, <laughs> and it was you. So I was like, yo, like I want to go do your his podcast, you know, yeah. and just like it helps, it helps you fucking 
meet people and connect and create that yeah. relationship, you and know? It's the dopest thing. It's the dopest thing. And what's even like doper, what's even fucking better is that we can come here and rap and just sit down and talk and someone out there can can tune in and listen to it and we might say to them we we might say an hour of 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 uh of garbage you know what i'm saying but there might be a minute in that hour that of something find. something we said or some something one of us said that makes the it maybe it doesn't even teach them something but it just makes them think about makes something think and, exactly. it, and, it, and, it, and it helps you know yeah. if i can help people and just spread a positive message and put out a positive fucking uh a po- like a positive mission throughout through this show and through and and you can do that through your show and uh and we can do what we do that's all i can fucking ask for bro you know? exactly and that's... i don't need a million subscribers i don't need a million dollars i just want to try to help a million people or just try just... to help as many people as i can and it's like know? no better feeling than when someone walks up and says like or reach like i've had people reach out to me and stuff about like things i've said and they're like yo i really felt that like that resonated with me like I'm glad you said that, or like the fact that people are really paying attention. Yeah, and it's crazy. Like it's just and like it's, it's like you're finding me worthwhile listening to. Yeah, you know. I know. I I, like, I would have never thought because same same thing like you were talking about earlier. I was the type of kid in school where I just could never shut up. Like, <laughs> like people would be like, like my one friend put it best. My friend Elliot, shout out to him. I haven't talked to him in a while, but I remember he said like he said like we would be sitting in uh, Spanish class. And I would just rant and go on and on. And he said people would be like, oh, my God, John, just shut the fuck up. Like, but on the days when I wasn't there, he said it, it was like, you know, like, like for his, like, yeah, when you were, when you were there, sometimes if you were ranting, people would get really annoyed. But on the days you weren't there, it was just it. like, oh, it's quiet. Like, we're just quiet. Like, we're just, no, we're yeah. back in Spanish class. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like <laughs> and like, ever since I heard him say that, I feel like deep down, whether I knew it or not, like that was kind of like what h- helped me find my mission. Cause I realized like people might think that talking is just, is just talking, but it really is a skill. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you were somebody who can, can put yourself out there and talk to people, a network, you have, yeah. you have a value, you have a valuable skill. Not only, yeah, not only t- for, for networking, for like whatever you're trying to do or whatever, but, it's like it's so helpful you know what i'm saying it really is a helpful skill makes that first date easier yeah exactly (laughs) exactly yo we i I don't i'm I'm not trying to i'm not trying to hype hype you up bro for this for this if if, yo you got a back you know what i'm saying if we're if i'm gonna hype you up for this for this date and we're fucking we're (laughs) talking we're talking about how 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 we're fucking natural talkers and that's our skill (laughs) you you gotta be on point with it bro you gotta be oh shit you know none of this none of this like what's your zodiac sign like like fucking, <laughs> fucking. What's your birth time? Like you know, right. like I don't know. I'm just, I'm just bullshitting. <laughs> bro, I just, I just love natural conversation because once I find that niche, we gonna talk about it. For once real, I for find real. something that's like equal field that I know has that knowledge on, it's a wrap. I'll talk yeah. about it. You know, and and like, yeah, that that that's another thing I love about talking too. Is, I talk is, too much sometimes. Hey. But the fact that you're even mindful of that is is important. You know like, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we the were... fact that you're even mindful of that means you're probably talking just enough. Cause like, cause like, there's motherfuckers who talk too much and they don't they don't think they talk enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, they they're like, enough. nah, I really gotta start talking. <laughs> right. You know, talk, getting out there more talking. But it's like all they fucking do is just, and their and their friends are just sitting there like, bro, like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, this is all you fucking I do had, is tell is say this shit. You know, you know. I, I had my boss's wife or not wife, uh, mother like that. So we were going to his sister's house to work on her floor. Yeah, yeah. Um, she lives in Downingtown, PA, an hour away. The mom was gonna babysit the child while the parents were working. So mom rode with us so mm-hmm. it's nick my boss his mom in the passenger seat my coworker mark and me in the back we're talking about the nfl we're talking about some shit but i'm really passionate sports i love football it's my thing i won't i forget what it was we were specifically talking about whether it was eagles or the no nah, we were talking about uh, i'm trying to remember fuck it i'm not gonna remember uh we were talking about something and i was like uh i was for like i didn't realize how bad i was talking and his mom my boss's mom in the front seat goes, is he always like this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Yeah, or when you catch yourself being, like, out of pocket, <laughs> like, yeah. It's tough, bro. Like, I, it's funny. Like, I can kind of relate because, like, I've had, 
look, I like sports. I like football. I like shit like that. I'm a, I'm a dude's dude, like, in that way. But honestly, like, not my favorite thing to talk about. And, like, I like talking about it. But, like, one time I was doing a podcast with my buddy, and he just got into football for, like, like 20, 30 minutes. And I was just kind of like, yeah, like, yeah, bro, like, that's cool. Yeah, like, yeah. But, like, I'm thinking to myself, like, I, like, I do not give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, this is not what, this is not what I want to talk about, like, in this moment. So, like, I can, I guess, I, I guess what I'm saying is I can relate to your boss's mom. And, like, yeah. is this guy like this all the time? Like, nah, yeah, I'm just, Nick's I'm just, like, I'm just busting. I'm just breaking. No, balls. no, you're fine, bro. Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm busting myself all day long. Nick was like, yeah, dude, Alex, like, what are you on right now? Like, he was making jokes about me, and then Mark was making jokes about me. I was like, all right, screw you, because you was talking with me. I guess I was talking more than you. I thought I was yeah. so tall. I guess I was talking so much. Well, I believed dude, he was you know talking what? as much as me. Never, he, he wasn't. Like, like sometimes I, 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 can, I can relate to you in the, in the sense that, like, sometimes when you get really passionate about something and you start going off. Um, you just run. You, you just run, and sometimes that can be, like, that that can seem like uh like interrupting and like rude to other people, but if that's you, bro, just be yourself. And the people who the people, I'm not saying just cut off. I'm not saying that means go out there and just cut off every single person in mid conversation. You know what I'm saying? But like, just be yourself. And the people who who deep down are like good for your energy and supposed to be around you, yeah. like they'll understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But never never feel like you you gotta limit who you are. Facts. And if I'm gonna give you if like as we as we wrap this up, if I'm gonna give you one more word of um of uh advice for this date Thursday or the next week or just like living for the rest of your life, never limit who you are to to suit the to suit the or please another person. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Be your damn self. Facts. Be your damn self. Is yo. it, 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 if it works, it works. If not, keep it pushing. Facts, facts. Keep it pushing. Yo, let everybody know again where they can find your stuff. Yeah, what yeah. uh what what um what uh your YouTube channel. It's pr- prime media, right? Yeah, yeah, prime media. People recognize one man entertainment, spelled P R one M E media on Instagram and YouTube. Uh you can find me on Instagram, my personal page, Alex underscore Secchia, S E C C I A. Uh tap in with me if you want to promote something, you want to do something, tap in. I love to work with people. Yeah, man, bro. John, thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, this of course, like, brother. I no want to keep talking with you, bro. Like, we're yeah, going to make, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll plan on making, like, episodes with you. Yeah, dude, we should do it. I s- completely screwed that dap up, too. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're good, bro. You're good. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it takes two to tango, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, um. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, man. I would love to fucking do, like, a series of episodes oh, or dude, something. I, I, I was know? thinking about it, because, like, we just have, like, a good vibe. I love the vibe we bring. It's, I just love how it just talks. Yeah, bro. It no just, interview, it, no question. It's just talking. It just works. It just works. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, you're welcome back anytime. This Same is, you. This this is uh, Alex Secchia's first time on the Eggcast. You know what I'm saying? Eggcast with John Egger. I want to come back on. You know what? Let's just let's just go back and forth, bro. I'll come back on your show. Yes, sometime. yes. You come back on. Run that up. On mine. You Keep know what that, I'm saying? Yes, run Fuck that yeah. up. Run that up. <laughs> but um, yo, thank you so much for being here. Thank Anybody you, who's still listening, thank you all for 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 keeping up with us. You know, and and and, and listening. Make sure you should, uh, subscribe. Check out Alex's stuff. Um, check out all my stuff. You are, by this time you should know where to find it. If not, <laughs> if not, look down below in the description wherever you're listening or watching this, and you'll be able to find it. And yeah, really, at the end of the day, just fucking take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Call your mom, your dad, your grandparents, whoever, your uncles, your aunts, your brother, sister. Tell them you love them, you, even if. Y'all haven't talked in a while. Just be like, hey, like I know that things haven't been great, but just I just wanted to let you know, like I'm I, I'm here for you. I care about you. You know, like call your friends, ask them what's up, check in on your fucking friends, and most importantly, check in and take care of yourself because, like, at the end of the day, you can't take care, you can't help anybody else if you're not yourself. helping yourself. Damn straight. Yes. So thank you all so much for listening. We love you, and yeah, peace, adios. Thank you guys so much for listening to that episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a great time. Hope it was massage for your ear holes. Make sure, if you haven't already, to follow CutGuy06 on Twitch. I have a link down in the description below. You can check out his Twitch page and follow him. He's always playing different games. He's playing, you know, Call of Duty, shooter games, RPGs, things like that. And he's always mixing it up, playing with different friends, keeping it interesting. So make sure you give him a follow. That is CutGuy06 on Twitch. 
Thanks, guys.